Hey guys, how are you? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically force the web browser to load the secure version of your website. Before I go on, I just want to point out this is a video for people with basic web design knowledge. Any beginner's course should teach you some of the basics that you need to be able to do this tutorial. And if you're more advanced than that, this is going to be too basic for you. So uh, here we go. So let's start off with a few basic ideas. A secure website is a website that has a SSL certificate applied to it. And you know that a website has an SSL certificate applied to it when you go to the website and you see HTTPS. S is for secure. Now, what's the whole point of having a secure website? Essentially, what it does when you apply the SSL certificate to secure your website, it encrypts, it encodes, the information shared between the web browser and the web server. So for example, when you're submitting a form to log into a website, when your website is secure, the information that you put into the form is encrypted as it's sent to the server. Whereas if you don't have it secure, that information is sent over as clear text and any hacker who might be intercepting your communication between your web browser and the server would be able to get your password. It's a rare event. It's still something that happens, so it's good to have in place. Now, traditionally, we only used to use SSL certificates and securing websites for banking sites, e-commerce type of things. But Google decided a couple years ago that every website should be secure. And what the Google gods want, the Google gods get. So everybody is securing their website, so you have to get some sort of certificate that uh, it secures your website. Now, there are paid versions. Lots of vendors out there will charge you for that. But there's also another option. So if you go look over on the right-hand side, you see I have a control panel open. This happens to be C panel for one of my sites, or for this site here. And um, if I scroll down, way down, you see Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt is a free service that allows you to secure your website. And that's very cool. So I already applied it. I can check to see the status of my SSL certificate. And you can see here, Projects at Studio Web, it is a secure, you get the green lock, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's kind of cool. So that's an SSL certificate. There's different ways of installing it, depending on the type of server configuration that you have. If you're using a hosting company, they'll help you out with that. If you know what you're doing, then you, you don't need me to tell you. Anyhow, so that is the SSL certificate. So how do you force your web browser to load the secure version of your website all the time, no matter what happens? I just click refresh, it's always loading. If I remove the S, which is the non-secure version, and it still goes to the secure version. So how does this happen? Well, you use something called HT Access. So let's load up the directory here for the website. So you hear this is the root directory, my spot, if you will, on the web server. And what you want to do is you want to go into public HTMLs where all your public website files are, your HTML pages, your CSS, your images, et cetera, et cetera, generally speaking. Now, this is an app, this project's not Studio Web, so actually a lot of the app code is actually outside the web directory for security purposes is in the app folder. But that aside, we go to public HTML, and what you want to look for is .htaxis. .htaxis is just a simple text file, but in that text file are all kinds of instructions, code that you could write to control the behavior of your server. You can do things like secure directories. You could force it. You can use htaxis. I'm going to show you how to write that code. You could force the web, the web server to tell the web browser to always load the secure version of the website. So if you don't see the htaxis in your public HTML, you just go to settings, you want to enable show hidden files. If you're not using cPanel, it'll be a little bit different. Point is, you just got to enable your server configuration to show hidden files, that's all. So once that's done, you want to load up your HT access. So how do you do that? Just right click, we're going to edit. It's just a text file. And here we go, this is it. So the magic to all this is just these three lines of code. It's very simple. All you have to do really is just copy this and just replace projects.studioweb with whatever website URL you have. So if your website is google.com, you would just put Google and leave everything the same, etc. So let me just go over things. So this is something called the rewrite engine, something 
but you can do with HT access. Again, this file is just telling the web server what to do. So uh, ignore this stuff, this has to do with the app, it has nothing to do with what we're doing. So all you need to know is these things. You first, you start off, make sure rewrite engine is on. And then this first line basically tells the web server, this applies to any website is being loaded. Now you got this port here, port 80. Ports are just pipelines, routes into the server. Servers have many ports and they have ports, default ports for FTP. They have default ports for web browsing, et cetera, et cetera. There's many, many, many ports. So this port here is the default port for websites, 80. So it's just saying for port 80, what you want to do is say for this domain name here, bartprojects.cityweb.com, we want to rewrite. So we add HTTPS to the URL. That's it. That forces HTTPS. And no matter what somebody types in, in terms of projects, it always goes to HTTPS, projects.studio.com. If I go back here, I take away HTTPS, you see it always comes back to HTTPS. To prove my point, let me just remove it. I'll save the change, and then we reload this. Okay, we got HTTPS, but I'll take out the S, and you see, oh, it's not secure, right? Your connection is it's not secure, right? Because it's not forcing it. Now, I could put it back and force it, by uh, typing HTTP S colon. No, I should uh, type it out right. Boom, it goes back, but it's not being forced. I take out the S, it's not secure. So now I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna put that code back in, save the change, and now, see it's not secure now, but if I force reload, boom, it forces it to be secure. So there you go, that's the basics, the very basics of using HT Access. And uh, that's how you force to load your secure version of your site. But remember, to have a secure version of the site, you have to get an SSL certificate. You can do it for free with the Let's Encrypt open source SSL provider, or you can use a paid service. Some people say the paid is better. I don't know, whatever works here with projects.studioweb. I hope this is helpful.